Tonight, we are learning more about the events surrounding the death of Corio County inmate Kelly Page, who died in custody back in 2017. Channel 6 obtained the video from inside her cell, and our very own Cole Johnson joins us now to walk us through exactly what happened. Hi, Cole. Chris and Leslie, the video from the Texas Commission on Jail Standards shows the moments the jailers enter 46 year old Kelly Page's cell. We want to warn you, this video is hard to watch and may not be suitable for all audiences. After the guards appear to pepper spray her, they tackle her to the ground and then they try to handcuff her. You'll see a guard knee and punch Page multiple times here in just a moment. And then one guard continues to straddle her on the ground while another appears to hold her head down with his knee. The next portion of the video we chose not to show. A few seconds pass and Paige is motionless. The guards seem to realize she is no longer conscious and the guards then attempt to perform CPR on Paige to no avail. Paige's family filed a lawsuit against the county and the two jailers. Today their lawyer Dean Malone told us that that kind of force should have never been used. This was just a real tragedy. It should have never happened. There was really never any need for it to happen. The video speaks for itself. Those jailers should not have gone in there and exercised the force that they did with her for what they viewed as, as a major infraction. And quite frankly, looking at that video, I just don't see it. Malone says the defendants have asked for more time to respond to the lawsuit. He says he's not sure what they'll do, but possibly will file for dismissal or answer to the suit. We reached out to both jailers and the county's attorneys for comment, but have not heard back. Malone says the video shows Paige wasn't indicating any aggressive behavior and that her family wants justice. You can find more on this story on our KCN mobile app. Chris and Leslie.